But it's providing cover for the guard. Oh, there it is! Oh, oh, it takes its motor out and then destroys the hammerhead. In the grim darkness of the far future, there is only war. An Imperium planet has fallen under the control of the Zedos known as the Tau, under the guise of trade and diplomacy. It is the job of the Imperium to take back the planet and punish those that have been complicit in these crimes against the Emperor. A small squad of Imperial Fists have been deployed to establish a foothold on the outskirts of the planet. So here we are on the front lines of the Imperial Fists first emergence on the planet. All they need to do is just hold back Whatever's going to come over that ridge, whatever scummy Xenos will come over that hill, it's going to- Oh god, mainly be ta- I was going to say Tau, yes. Oh, it does not like that pillar. Oh, why is it not like the pillar? I think we've got lots of tactical marines here with bolt guns. There is a couple with rocket launchers. We've got some tactical marines there at the front with their rocket launchers ready and waiting. Bolt pistols, plasma gun there, plasma rifle and missiles on the dreadnought, and then heavy bolters up here. Each space marine is, of course, equipped with grenades that they can lob if they get so close to the enemy and if they can't uh, progress and stuff like that. It's going to be a tough fight. But luckily, we're on the outskirts, and there shouldn't be too much resistance. Or if there is going to be, hopefully, these guys have enough firepower. Oh, there they go. We've got some piranhas incoming. Our first targets. The scouty troops. Who's going to shoot first, though? <laughs> <laughs> what did he say there? He sounded like he cursed. <laughs> oh, they, they jump out. Oh, 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 <laughs> it didn't last very long. Oh, the missile pods from the uh, the Dreadnought, they're firing away. Although, whoa, got some good shots in there from that guy who's just completely down. Oh, a rocket launch is coming in from the Space Marines there. Will the Dreadnought have time to recover? And it's gone. It is completely gone. Oh, shooting onto the dropship, the Devilfish there. Oh, more rocket launches. Some good shots from the Space Marines. Hopefully, the Dreadnought can get back up on its feet as long as these Devilfish can be suppressed. Oh, they're not doing too bad, though. Oh, yep, heavy shots there. Oh, he's having to take cover. Good job these uh, rocket launchers keep him going. Oh, oh, we've got some plasma shots in there. Look at him. He's on the ground taking cover while trying to get some pod shots off. Luckily, the Dreadnought isn't being shot that much. They're actually focusing their attention on the biggest threat, which is probably... Oh, heavy volley shots coming in there a little bit. Oh, no, he got taken out. No, he just couldn't duck them. Under. Oh, and he's ducked it too. Oh, there's a lot of shots coming into the Dreadnought now. This might not be very good. There's literally just one Devilfish left whose motor has been there. Uh, apparently paralyzed. It, it's just got its working turrets. Oh, it's gone. It was taken out. I don't know what took it out there. But it is no longer responding. Maybe some stray bullets. Some bolt of fire got in there and killed the uh, the pilots. But there is a lot of movement at the back there. These space marines are going to have to make a, a, a decision here. Whether they hunger down for good or if they try to go on the advance and, you know, take this place. They need to. They really need to, to secure. Um, oh, oh there, they, oh, there they are. The heavy bullet. Oh, he's back up. The dreadnought is alive and it is just... Oh, it's going ham. Oh, damn. <laughs> it's showing its back up. Wow, okay, let's have a look. What? Oh, oh, there was one dude here. They're slowly jumping up. There we go. We got some commanders there from the Tau Pathfinder team. Oh, not Pathfinder, sorry. Fire Warriors. Oh, they are trying to come up. Oh, and the plasma bullets or like whatever. Shot canister, whatever you want to call it, from the Drenor there. Absolutely tore them up. Heavy bolt of fire. Oh, what a symphony. Oh, the missile pods as well. But there is a lot of defense here. Oh, look at that guy. Look at these guys. What are they doing? <laughs> I mean, you got to give it credit. Oh, this is glorious. Oh, plasma shots coming in. 
If only they manage to take out that Dreadnought, that's gonna be a big problem for them. Some all oh, the rock launchers as well. There we go. There we go. As soon as they see sight of a fire warrior, boom! Look at the reload! This game's so good, man. I love this game. <laughs> Oh, some spray, uh, some stray shots in there from the pulse rifle. But for the majority, oh, are they? Are they moving? It sounded like they were moving. They were like with me, brothers. But then they kind of just all stood still. So, are they? Are they smelling fear in the Tau? The Tau have seemed to hunker down, just like the Space Marines. Tau are always afraid of a hand-to-hand -hand combat, and so would I, if I was facing off against genetically modified super soldiers that are the Space Marines. Although they are talking to themselves quite a lot over there, so maybe they're just they're building themselves up for some sort of bayonet rush. But uh, with a Dreadnought like that, that can literally destroy the entire terrain, uh, there's nowhere to really run if they do decide to come up. It seems peace has descended upon the battlefield just for a split second while either side weighs up their options. Oh, we saw some movement there from the space. I think he was just lining up another target. Did he see? Did he see something? Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, oh we've, got, oh, we've got movement from the space marines. They're going in. Look at him go. Yes. <laughs> It seems like the tactical marines have decided enough is enough. They're taking shelter in a crater. I don't know, maybe something blew up. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Okay, they're, they're kind of in the open here, which isn't the best, especially with the Tau taking advantage of their uh, amazing uh, range of their rifles. But not bad, not bad, not bad. They're, they're, they're getting there, they're getting there. Oh, oh, the rest of the... Oh, the Dreadnought's coming in. Laying waste to this flank. <laughs> Oh, there's no, there's no... Oh, there we go. There's some people just hiding at the back. Oh, there's quite a few. There is quite a few here. Although they don't seem to be moving. They're just... Oh, and he's gone. Oh, and what about the other guy? Oh, he's also gone. <laughs> Whoa! I mean, what's the worst way to go, I suppose? Being hit by a, a bolter shell or a, absolutely being obliterated by a missile or the plasma. I'm not too sure, but it looks like the whole squad has decided to slowly make their way up. Oh no, some friendly fire from the Dreadnought. <laughs> there he goes, reloading. There you go. These, these explosives maybe aren't the best, but uh, hey, they've helped them so far. They needed them for those vehicles that were taken out. And oh, they are hunkering down the town now, getting ready for the advance of the Space Marines. But there is a lot of, ex oh, there's a lot of them. Look how many there are. All of the laser fire. But, I mean, a stray rocket and being that close together? Not the best, I don't think. But that's just me. I don't know. Look at, look at that Dreadnought Waddle over here. The Emperor's finest tin can. <laughs> oh, it looks like they're finding some sort of cover. And they're running from cover to cover here. There we go. There we go. What little cover is... Oh, a lovely shot there. Destroying some of them. Oh, cover being blown up here. This seems to be the stronghold here. There is absolute loads of them, but as soon as a rocket gets through. Oh, what are we got to do here? Look at him. I mean, he is definitely feeling. Look, he's just tanking these shots. They shall know no fear. Oh, and he was uh, discombobulated, I would say. Some more plasma uh, pulse there. Ooh, a little dip with the, uh, the missile. That <laughs> That Dreadnought just absolutely laying down so much support to fire. Maybe too much. I don't know. Oh, we've got some we've got some amazing tactical uh, crawling along the ground here. Oh, just sticking their head up and another sh another friendly fire from the Dreadnought. Not so good. Oh, Jesus. And uh, yeah, he's everywhere. Oh, no, he's alive. Never mind. His, his five lungs and two hearts and God knows what are still pumping somehow. Here we go. They've taken the middle. We've got some heavy bolters here now. Oh, Lord. No, the tower not faring well. Yeah, I would. I would. Um, I'm not ashamed. I'd probably at this point give up, I think. <laughs> but they are not going to take any prisoners. And the Tau, uh, for the greater good, will also all lay down their lives. And what a battle this has been. And a victory. Oh, no, wait. There's one dude left. Oh, God. Oh, no, he's gone as well. Is that all the Tau gone? I think that's it. No? Is there some more hiding at the back? 
Oh, there does appear to be some hiding at the back there. The Dreadnought seems to have heard their, their chatter and is uh, sort of making its way over here. The rest of the Space Marines, I think, are just securing the drop zone. Oh, oh, no, but the Dreadnought is not happy with the amount of kills. It's already got friendly and enemy and is apparently just going to walk straight up to them and is going to uh, probably light them up. It could, it could just walk over them at this point. Um, yeah, yeah. I, if I was the tower right here... Oh, oh, they're trying it! Well, well done on them. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they're not going to stand much of a chance. Let's be honest. They've got some cover. The Dreadnought has no close combat weapons. It's mainly just for long range. Uh, however, that's not going to stop it from walking over the end all of the terrain and then just putting the gun right up to their face and blasting them. Well, it's been an honor, gentlemen. <laughs> the, oh, there is, there is three dudes left? Is that three dudes? I think there's only one dude left. And you know what? Gotta give him credit. He's, he's doing his best. And the Dreadnought is actually walking away. Oh, but uh, there may be some other Space Marines coming over who aren't gonna be so kind. Oh, no, no, never mind. The Dreadnought was just going around for a, a closer shot or a better view. Whoa, he moved a little bit. That's impressive. I think that's the most he's moved this entire game. <laughs> Who's gonna pick him up? Will it be a Dreadnought? Or will it be something else? Oh, the Dreadnought seems to have given up, but this Space Marine... He's coming over. He, he, slowly. They don't know. <laughs> He's really giving it thought. Uh, and is he, has he seen him yet? Oh, yep. And there it is. <laughs> Just three bolter shots. And uh, thus ends the tower's claim on this old Imperial city. The Dreadnought's just making sure it's dead. <laughs> yes, very, very dead. Good, good, good. And the Space Moons walk back, ready to welcome the rest of their chapters to take on and take back this world. The Zedos put up a little fight in the face of the Emperor's angels. And now with the area secured, the Space Marines can reinforce their positions and bring an end to the heresy on this planet. Oh, the Space Marines, here we go. They're marching up. Another battle with the Tau. Managing to breach the defenses. The last of the Militarum here hold a strong line while the Tau have dug themselves in also. And over on the other side, there is lots of... What are these? Uh, fire warriors as well as the human helpers. The, the jet gas or whatever they're called. I can't remember. Are they going to pick a shot? Are they gonna... Oh, the first one's a fire. Oh, no. He got taken out like straight away. What? <laughs> Just a flesh wound. The las guns. The drones there. The rocket launchers. Oh, oh a huge tank coming in. <laughs> Bam. Rocket launchers firing. Oh, God. Don't know what that is. We've got the dreadnought slowly approaching as well. Glorious. Yes, look at them. This is so cool. I mean, I think this is a Devastator tank. And the, the freaking canister it shoots is absolutely deadly. Militarum is holding strong, just keeping the defenses, getting some supportive fire out there, while the Space Marines just charge the advance. The Space Marines are using that as cover. Oh, it's decided. Oh, there it goes. There were, I promise you. Tau over here, but there are now not. You can see there was some in here. There, there was some against that barricade as well. We've got a lot hiding in here. We've got drones. They're sort of sneaking their uh, faces around the corner, holding firm for some sort of reinforcement. Maybe they've got a plan to trap them. Whoa, lasers being fired there. Dreadnought's running straight across the battlefield. There's a missile drone. Oh, there he is. Just firing the odd missile or two. Looks like he's taking some shots. But it seems like the Space Marines are doing quite good here. They're slowly um, making progress. And oh, look at those. Tau Pathfinder. Not Pathfinders. Uh, the Fire Warriors. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, loads of missiles coming in from the Dreadnoughts there. Uh, there is one dude left here. I don't think that Space Marines... Did. Oh, a grenade lobbed. And absolutely destroyed that one Tau. Uh, we've got a lot of death in here. We've got a Pathfinder team. They do have, like, ion rifles and stuff. The Tau are just drawing them in. Oh, the Dreadnought is down. It's sleepy time for the Dreadnought. Must have been taken out by something. Some supportive fire. Oh! Oh, my God! Oh, there it is! 
<laughs> the Dreadnought didn't stand a chance. The Hammerheads, the XV suits as well. The battle suits are there. And this, oh god, this is not going to be good for the Space Marines that have been caught out of combat. Oh, the Astro Militarum have decided to leave the trenches and are following their brothers across the battlefield. You've got a guy there with like a rocket launcher. Gorgeous. Oh god, a lone attack drone is wandering forward <laughs> before he gets absolutely obliterated. We've got another hammerhead here. Is it facing the tank? It is facing the tank. How's the tank been disabled? It's, uh, it doesn't seem to be moving, but it's providing cover for the guard. Oh, there it is! Oh, oh, it takes its motor out and then destroys the hammerhead. Beautiful. Just what these space marines need. They have taken control of this. Oh, there's still a few hammerheads launching out some heavy fire. Uh, that dreadnought is powered down at the moment. It can come back online, but if it gets exploded, well, there's no saving. Oh, Terminator comes through! Is it gonna save it? Or will it blow up? Oh my god, there is so much death here. There is a lot of the Geoceva. I think they're the humans that have been converted to the Tau side, as well as some uh, uh, XV suits there that are being slowly taken out. Not looking too good. The Terminator is running around the corner just to pick them off, but they still... Oh, is the turret down? I thought the turret's knocked out. Yeah, they, they're sort of disabling the turret. Oh, oh, it's going to turn. It's going to... This is good. Oh, and it destroys the Dreadnought. That thing's not getting back up. That's no good. Uh, although it also gets taken down by the absolute massive Terminators here. There is still one of these suits just launching some little missiles there. And um, yeah, it gets blown up. I think there was a turret right next to it. There's literally just it. This battle has been over so quick. We got little little guard there just shooting his uh, last gun or last rifle. I can't remember what you call it. This shield is holding up really freaking well and it's just lobbing missiles into that squad of Terminators. We got, oh, we got a Space Marine there getting closer and closer, but look at this. This guy can tank everything, apparently. Oh no, the shield's gone. Shield's down. I think it's about to be out. Oh, some rockets coming through. How long can it hold on for? Oh, the massive tank just coming. <laughs> bah, die. <laughs> a ceremonial tea back on its grave. And it has been an absolute victory for the Imperium of Man. With their defenses breached and countless lives are lost, the Tau make the difficult decision to leave the planet. This is just another bloody chapter in the history of 40k. If you'd like to see more, subscribe.